Hey y'all, welcome to my psychic reading on Donald Trump for the month of June 2019. Now I'm at work, okay, so I had to sneak away and um, do this reading for you guys. And I don't have cards with me, unfortunately. Usually I keep cards in my car, but um, I haven't kept cards in my car for a while now, so I need to get back on that actually. But um, by the way, if you guys want a psychic reading from me, uh, with cards or not, check out my website. I'm going to write it down for you guys, just so you guys can have a visual representation as well. As an audio representation. My website is lamartownsendtaylor.com. Can you guys see that? I don't know if you guys can. LamarTownsandTarot.com So if you want a reading from me, check out my website. All right, I am available for bookings. This is not my full-time job. Actually, my full-time job is being a YouTuber and being a psychic tarot reader. This is just for extra money. So I have to be quiet just to make sure that no one can hear me. So since I don't have cards with me, by the way, remember, I am a psychic tarot reader and an astrologer, so if you want an astrology birth chart reading from me, check out my website, lamartownsandtarot.com. Purchase your reading, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible, okay? With that being said, let me take this with me so that when I leave, they're not like, what's lamartownsandtarot.com? Um, we know that guy. So I'm going to tap into Donald Trump's energy, since I don't have cards with me. Um, like I said, I'm a psychic, so I can do that. Um, and it's just intuition. So I'm going to tap into my intuition and see what's going on with Donald Trump for June 2019. So let's get right into it. Let's just, just take a few deep breaths. Thank you, God, for surrounding me and those watching with your water wall of protection, your fiery wall of protection, your word of protection. Thank you for allowing me to tap into the energies of Donald Trump and to see what's going on around him. And when this reading is over, may I revert back to my own energy and may the cord be cut. In Jesus' name I pray and thank you. Amen, amen, and amen. So immediately I pick up that Donald Trump may be dealing with health issues right now. Um, this is something I picked up even before I did the reading. Um, I feel like there's something about headaches. So I don't know if he's having headaches lately or what the situation is with that. But I do feel like he's having health issues. I feel like it has a lot to do with his diet. I don't feel like he eats the healthiest. Um, I feel like he's very stubborn as well. So... He could have like a health, you know, professional around him, you know, telling him, no, Donald, you need to eat this, you need to eat that. And he's the type of person to just completely disregard what they say and ignore them. So I do feel like he's going through health issues. Um, so I don't know if this is something that will be prominent in June 2019, something that will come out or just something that he will kind of go through behind the scenes. Um, I'm seeing Melania, so I don't know if there's something going on with Melania. Melania's been quite quiet lately, but Donald's been pretty quiet, too. So I do feel like he's going through a lot behind the scenes. Um, I do feel like it, you know, it does deal with family. I do feel like I know that Melania and Donald have a son, right? Baron, I think is his name. I feel like Baron spends a lot of time with his mom, doesn't really spend too much time with Donald. And I feel like for some reason, Donald has either isolated himself from his family he either feels isolated from his family or his family has isolated themselves from him um slowly but surely it's almost like donald is like bad luck or something like that bad juju so it's like let me stay away from you know that kind of energy that kind of vibe um I do feel like something could come out by mid-June, some type of scandal. I feel like it deals with law, legal, legalities. I know he's going through his thing right now with his cabinet or with his, uh, with, you know, the people on his, the, you know, in his team. Um, they're kind of like dropping like flies. They're turning on him left and right. So I do feel like there's going to, you know, there's going to be more of that that unfolds. I feel like there's going to be something where Donald 
is involved with the scandal as well. Um, so I do feel like, I don't know, I feel like you couldn't be involved with the scandal. And I don't know why I'm seeing like a college admission scandal. So I don't know if it has something to do with that or if it's like something along those lines where he kind of paid his way into something or something like that, you know. Um, but I do feel like there's some type of scandal that could come out in June 2019 for Donald Trump. And I do, I just, I don't know why I keep seeing Melania. I feel like we could hear something about Melania maybe in June 2019 or maybe something about Melania and Donald Trump in June 2019. So I don't know if they're getting like a divorce. I do feel like separation once again between them. I do feel like untangling as well. So they could be going through some type of separation or divorce. Um, and you have to forgive me. I'm not. I don't keep up with Donald Trump, unfortunately. You know, I don't keep up with uh, politics like that. You know, just what I hear in passing and on YouTube and stuff like that. So. <clears throat> Ivanka, something about Ivanka as well, um, and maybe Jared, I think it's her, bo her boyfriend or husband, something about Ivanka and Jared could come out in June 2019 as well. A lot of scandal, a lot of like drama around Donald Trump in June, to be honest with you. Um, but for the most part, he's going to be pretty quiet. He's not really going to want things to leak out like he's he's kind of wanting to stay low-key at this time I feel like he's not really you know I don't feel like he's been saying much on Instagram or Twitter has he I feel like he's been really quiet and low-key lately and he's kind of wanting, wanting to stay that way because there's a lot going on behind the scenes that he just needs to kind of you know um gain control of I feel so I feel that as well with Donald um Maybe something with the stock market could happen in June 2019 or the economy, something like that. Something with money connected to Donald. I feel like he travels a lot. He likes to travel a lot. Um, there could be something that happens overseas. Maybe he gets blocked or something like that. Um, but I feel like he likes to travel a lot, but that's kind of being blocked for him. And I also want to say that, you know, si signs like these, you know, where he wants to travel and maybe he's having issues traveling, that's showing signs that maybe this presidency is coming to an end for Donald, all right? If certain doors are, are closed on him in his personal life, I do feel like that's a sign that, you know, his presidency is slowly coming to an end. That's a spiritual sign um, that Donald kind of needs to adhere to, I guess. Because I do feel like he's going to want to have like a second wind. Um, but I, I feel like I'm speaking beyond June 2019 at this point. So that's just going to stay in the June realm. What else can I pick up about June for Donald? I feel like he's just slowly being phased out of the White House. And I don't know if it is his doing or the doing of the people behind him or the people that don't, don't want him in the White House. I feel like it's kind of both. It's kind of like, you know, how when you are like about to leave a job and it's a big job, it's a hefty role that you play in the company. So it's not like you can just kind of put in your two weeks notice and say, OK, peace out. Like I'm taking all everything off my desk. No, it's like you have to make sure that, you know, um, certain protocols are um adhere to. You have to make sure that certain I's are dotted and certain T's are crossed before you can leave the White House, I feel. And Donald has made such a mess that he has to clean up a lot of stuff before he can kind of get out there scot-free. So that's what I feel with that. And he knows this. He knows that, you know, if he were to leave right now and, you know, with you know, things the way they are in such disarray and a mess, it, his legacy would just be, you know, completely tainted so he's taking that into account he's taking his legacy into account he's taking you know okay what's gonna happen to me after i leave the white house all right into account as well so a lot happening for donald trump in june 2019 um and i just feel like people overseas are not dealing with his crap um, I also feel like he has a lot of enemies overseas, so be, he has to be careful where he travels, all right? You do have to be careful where you travel, Donald. 
um, because, you know, maybe you might not be blocked in certain areas, but there is, you know, certain booby traps that you may fall into, I guess is a good way to put it. So just be careful with that. But all right, Donald, thank you for doing this reading with me. I guess that's June 2019 for Donald Trump. I have to get back to work, y'all. Um, I love you guys. If you want a personal reading from me, make sure you check out my website, lamartownsandtarot.com. I am available for bookings, and I would love to read for you. Love and light. Have a great month, y'all. Let's make it as best as it can be. Make America great again, but the way it needs to be great again, okay? Uh, love you guys. <laughs> Bye.